Okay, let's finish this problem. I don't know what happened. Uh, the video just stopped, so I got actually about here in the first part, but let me just go over really quick. So here we have a chain on a table with a tiny little piece hanging over it, and there's no friction. So of course if the chain slides off. Um, so in order to do this from a Lagrangian, we need to find the degrees of freedom. In this case, it's one. There's only one coordinate that you need to determine everything. And I'm going to pick the distance from the bottom of the chain to the ground as y as my coordinate. So then I need to get uh, right. OK, so where did I skip? Oh, this is, this is old stuff. OK, I'm skipping. That's the old stuff. I, I erased the part from before. I calculated the kinetic energy. That wasn't too bad. Okay, both of the pieces of the chain that on the table and right here both move at the same speed because they're connected together. And the direction doesn't matter. So the kinetic energy is this term right here. And then I found the potential energy term. Uh, there was a trick because you have to find the mass of the piece hanging over and the mass of the piece on it, which those change. Okay, so I don't have constant masses, but I get that and that for the two potential energy terms, and I get that from my Lagrangian. Okay, but there's only one um, equation of motion because there's only have one variable. So I'm going to say the Lagrangian says the partial of L with respect to y minus d dt partial of L with respect to y dot equals zero. So let's do partial of L with respect to y. Okay, let's look at my Lagrangian. There's no y there. That's a g. Um, okay, so I'm going to get this times that. So let's just put this term out here. I get negative lambda g over 2 times the derivative of the stuff inside. h is constant, so I get negative 2y. And then I have a 2h. So this is going to be uh, lambda g y minus lambda g h. Now I need to do the partial of L with respect to y dot. And there's only one term with the y dot. So it's just this term. So I get uh, lambda L y dot the twos cancel. And then I can take the derivative with respect to time. And lambda and L are constant, so I just get lambda L y double dot. So now this minus that is equal to zero. So let's write that out. Lambda g y minus lambda g h minus lambda L, Y, double dot equals zero. Okay, the lambda cancels. If it's a uniform density chain, it doesn't really matter what the density is. Um, the G does not. So if I solve this for Y double dot, I get G, Y over L minus G, H over L. And that's really unfinished, but let's check. Um, so if, let's see if it has the right units. This has, should have units of meters per second squared. That's meters per second squared, meters over meters, so that's good. Meters per second squared, meters over meters, that's good too. Now, in the case, I'm trying to think about what would make this just like a normal problem. You, this isn't terribly difficult to solve, but you can see that the acceleration is not constant. It should be increasing, which just says it should, okay? Because as more chain hangs over, then the, there's a greater gravitational pull on it, pulling it down. So that, that makes sense. Um, I'm kind of thinking that if L is very, very small compared to H, you should get a case that looks like just free fall. Because most of the time, if, the, if I have a short chain, it's just free falling. But, uh, but I'm not positive about that. I would do this as a numerical calculation and then just calculate the final speed at the end. And, and this problem actually we did before. We did as just a work energy problem, finding the speed at the end. I can, I can 
integrate this and find the final speed too. Okay, and uh, this is actually variable separable. It's not too hard. I think you can do it. You could do it analytically or numerically, but you could compare the answer there to the final position from just work energy. But this is better because it gives you the whole motion, not just the end. Okay, so I'm kind of working through this and afraid that the video cut off again. So uh, I could just be talking to nobody and I don't even know until I look at the camera. But I think that's good for that problem.